Amen. Amen. Kwa hivyo, therefore, tumishwa Mungu yuko pamoja nasi. Someone of God is together with us. Hapa hapa. Right here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Makofi, makofi na shangwe na vigelegele. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. 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 Yuko pamoja nasi hapa hapa. It's together with us right here. Amen. Amen. Karibu baba yetu, karibu. Welcome our father, welcome, welcome. Uzungumuze na watu wako. I've talked to your people. I'm just greeting you. Aya tu kai. Mimi na mimi naka. I'll also sit down. Kitu cha kwanza na shukuru Mungu amanzilishi sana. The first thing I thank the God of the Father very much. Kuwaweka pamoja namna hii for keeping you together like this ili musikie neno la Mungu. So they may hear the word of God. Mimi na neno moja. I've only one thing to tell you. Kuambia nyinyi watu wa Mungu. Tell you the people of God. Popote ulipo ili ukae ukae salama. But everyone should dwell very safely. Tumishwa Mungu Paulo anasema. Sasa God Paul says Mambo mlio yao na kwangu the affairs you saw in me na kuyasikia and you heard about them anendeni kwa hayo move along those things na mtamuona Mungu and you will see God sisi nas we too tulimuona we saw him baba yetu wa imani na mama mazilishi we saw a father of faith and the father of mother yale maneno yalitufanya tuache sigara those was that made us for sex cigarettes tuache vitu vingi vibaya for sex on other evil things ili turudie hayo maneno for us to repeat these things ni kuacha uliosikia is to do away with whatever you had na kuyaona and see sasa ukiacha basi and if you leave them that's the end of it kila kitu kinakuwa kinaharibika kabisa everything will be spoiled completely so wa filipi read the book of philippians lango wa 4 for stare wa 9 mpaka 10 Lengo turudi kwa njia. Mambo mliojifunza kwangu. Things you learn from me na kuyapokea. And receive them na kuyasikia. And hear them na kuyaona kwangu. And see them from me. Yatendeni hayo. Do those things. Na Mungu wa amani and the God of peace atakuwa pamoja nanyi. We'll be together with you. Si ajabu. It's not a wonder. Walikuwa wameanza kuacha. That has started living this word. Paulo akawaona. That's why Paul saw akamwambia sio hivyo he told them that's not the case si muna maneno mliona kwangu you must have seen something in me na ni watu wangapi hapa and how many people are here waliona missionary who saw this type of life hata kula kwake unaweza kujua kula kwake if you know his eating you can know about it yeye alipenda mungu he loved god hapa akiwa duniani hapa while on this earth here alipenda mungu he loved god very much sisi basi we then Letu ni kurudi kupita katika njia zile. But we need to go back and pass through those very same ways. Ili Mungu akae pamoja nasi. For God to dwell together with us. Tukiacha hilo Mungu anaenda. If we forsake that then God will go. Lakini Paulo anasema, but he says, Mlio yaona na kuyasikia. But what you saw and heard, enendeni kwa hayo hayo. Go along those things. Ukiacha hayo basi. If you leave those things in that way. Kila kitu kinaharibika. Everything will be spoiled and destroyed. Missionary, missionary, baba wa imani, our father of faith alitoka duniani departed from this earth hakubeba hata shilingi he didn't carry even a shilling with him ya dunia hii of this earth yeye alienda mbele za Mungu he just went before god ke kazi alikuwa anaifanya now how about the work he was doing hata akaondoka tunamuona hivi when you can wake up and you see him tukiacha hayo tunaenda wapi if we so if we so for sake those things where shall we go to leo la Mungu si kuunganisha unganisha the word of god means join up and Uh -huh. together, no? Ni kamba iliyo tayari natoka mwanzo wa dunia mpaka mwisho wa dunia. It's already rolled from the beginning of the earth to the end of it. Kwa hivyo, therefore, kitu kikubwa ndicho hicho. That's the greatest thing. Mimi nashukuru Mungu sana. I thank God very much. Kwa injili ambayo mnaendelea kuipata. The gospel, the gospel that you continue receiving. Sasa hili ni jibu hili. Now this one Mkitaka kumuona Mungu, if you see God, yale mlioyaona na kuyasikia. Whatever you saw and heard. Paulo anasema tendeni hayo. Paul says go ahead and do them. Sijui sisi nasi tutafanya hivyo. I don't know whether we shall do that. 
and unaamini utafanya hivyo then i believe we shall do the very same thing yuda judas aliona so those things akashikia he had lakini hakutenda hayo but he didn't do those things sisi sote mkiwa hapa when we are here all of us maneno ambayo mmeashikia words we are hearing tukueni hayo 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 take those very same words na tutafunguliwa kwa mambo mengi and shall be released in so many things tena tutafanikiwa kwa mambo mengi and we shall prosper in so many other things amen amen usiogope usihofu don't be afraid don't have any fear in you anataka kutuokoa god wants to save us lakini but utajifunza wapi where will you learn from kwa muhubiri from the preacher utajifunza wapi where will you learn from kwa yeye aliyetuongoza mwanzilishi from whom who led the directed the father of mother Ali, alifanyaje what did he do alikuwa anakaa watu wengine ni warefi stay with the people somewhere what wengine ni waongo others were liars wengine wana fitina others had so much discord mambo yasiyofaa such things which are no good lakini yeye akakaa nao watu wao he stayed with them all the same hata leo even today kwa hivyo kupata tayari aliye mzuri kwa hapa duniani ni vigumu but it's so difficult to get somebody who is already ready on this earth lakini utapata yule wa kombo kombo yule you get that one there alafu huyo huyo anakuja anakuwa mzuri kabisa and then this person become very good indeed hata mshangae until you, are, you get amazed amen amen kwa hivyo therefore mimi nilikuwa nawasalimia i was just greeting you tuko pamoja we are together Siko mani kombali. No that I'm far. Niko na nyinyi tu. I'm just with you pamoja. Together. Sasa tukitoka hapa. Now when we leave this place, tuchukue haya maneno. Let's take these words. Tuyafanye kuwa muhimu sana. And make them very important in this. Katika kizazi hiki ambacho kiko saa hii. In this generation we have at this moment. Kizazi cha wakati huu, the generation we have at this time. Kilizungumzwa tangu mwanzo. Was talked about from the beginning. Wenye roho ya mashindano, moyo wa mashindano. Those people competitive hearts and argumentative hearts. Lakini Mungu anasema, God keeps on saying, jifunzeni, learn. Na Mungu wa amani atakuwa pamoja nani. And God of peace will be together with you. Anasema tujifunze. He says we should learn. Mambo haya, these affairs. Tusiseme tumefika. Should not say we have reached Ah, oh, no. tunajifunza. We are learning. Tunaiga. We are coping. Na tukisha kufanya hivyo, that, Mungu atakuwa pamoja nasi. God will together with, with us. Je, mtafanya hivyo watu wa Mungu? Will you do that as people of God? Mimi nilikuwa sina mengi. I didn't have many things to tell you. Nilikuwa ni salamu. Mine was just regards to you. Na naamini yale uliyoyasikia. And I believe whatever you heard. Na unaendelea kuyasikia. I'm continuing hearing them. Hayo ni maneno ya kuokoa roho zetu. Those are words to save our souls. Nilikuwa Dar es Salaam. I was in Dar es Salaam. Miaka ya nyuma hii. In the past years. Huyo Pastor Reba tukua na yeye. We together with Pastor Reba there. Ni muhubiri, was a preacher. Anaanza kujifunza. He's learning how to preach. Lakini kiangalia, when I look at him, ah ah huyu hana maneno mengi huyu. And I saw him as a man who didn't prate. Kwani hata leo kuna maneno mengi si ya Yesu tu. There's so many things today because of our Munayaona you seeing them Sasa watu wa Mungu ni kujifunza No as people of God we should learn Na naamini and I believe Kujifunza kwenu you are learning utaleta wokofu mkubwa will bring some very great salvation Ngoja nisemame tupike makofi Let me stand up so that my clap your hands much better Yep Amen. Amen. Mungu awabariki sana. May God bless you very much. Amen. Na wasalimu katika jina la Bwana Yesu. Amen. Namshukuru Mungu wa mama mwanzilishi. I'm very grateful to God the founder mother. Kwa maombi ya mtumishi wake Emmanuel Kea Mzungu through the prayers of his servant Emmanuel Kea Mzungu kwa vile ambavyo ametulinda in the manner he has protected us paka ametupa nafasi tena asubuhi leo kukumbushana and to giving us another chance this morning to remind each other yale apewayo mtumishi wa Mungu whatever the servant of God is given amen amen yeye upewa neno he is given an award Haleluya. Haleluya. Na akataka tukae kwa hilo. And he would like us to abide by the same word. 
And if you want us to stay by that word, we see ourselves repeating and proceeding on and on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that way the Spirit has found out. This one who has not understood there, and the other one hasn't understood there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo, Therefore, tumelindwa, we've been protected na mungu wa mama by the God of the Father, Mother, wa maombi yake. through His prayer. Kwa hivyo, Therefore, tumeletwa, we have been brought here. You've been brought here and I've been brought here too. You didn't come here in vain. It's God of the founder who strengthened you through the prayers of his servant. Salvation is there, all right? Getting healed is there too. Prosperity is also there. On to this earth. But for you to get to all those things, you have to want. Mpaka utake, you have to want mpaka utafute, and bend in such searching mpaka ujali. until you respect. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hayo yote yako. All those things are there. Mema yako. The good things are there. Kukoka kuko. Salvation is there. Kufanikiwa kuko. Prosperity is there. Lakini mpaka ujaliwe, but you have to be enabled bidii, the diligence ya kujali, of respecting kutafuta, and search huo wokovu. that salvation hauji wenyewe ndani yako in you kwa sababu unakaa miracle revival because you stay at miracle revival church when you vivio, where there's some revival wa Mungu, of god mpaka kule moyoni but in your heart uwe na ile njaa you must have the hunger uwe na ile bidii and have the diligence then you have the thing that deter, the, the no, determination. Kuna itua kujali. And that's all what is called respecting. Amen. Amen. Wenyewe. Doesn't come on its own. Wenyewe. Salvation doesn't come to you on its Kutakasika own. Being sanctified doesn't come on its, its own. Ujali its own. You must be enabled to seek for it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mana unaweza kuwa hapa. Because you're going to be in the church here. Na bado unaenda kwa machafu. But you're still going to very dirty evil things. Mana hujataka. Because you have not wanted yet. Hujatafuta. You have not sought. Hujakuwa na njaa. You have had that hunger. Hujakuwa na kujali. You are not having any respect at all. Na Bwana Yesu atakuangalia na uchafu wako huo. And the Lord Jesus will look at you and will you. And he'll forsake you. Ndio alisema Bwana Yesu mahali pengine. That's why the Lord Jesus said Atakaye na aje. Whoever wants should come. Atakaye. Whoever wants. Sikila mtu. Not everybody. Yule atakaye. It's only that one who wants. Amen. Amen. Aje. It should come. Sikila mtu. Not everybody. Atakaye na aje. Whoever wants can come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tusome. Read for us. Wa Corinthians wa pili. Second Corinthians. Chapter 11. Eight, eleven. For salvation, you must want it. Uwe for it. You must Kwaja kwa anayetafuta. It comes through that one. Kwaja kwa anayejali. It comes through that one. That Anayetaka kule moyoni. Who wants right in his heart. Ndio wokovu utafanyika. Then salvation will be performed. Ndio Paulo akasema. That's why Paul said. Timizeni kule kutenda. Fulfill the doing. Kama vile mlivyotaka moyoni. As you wanted and want in your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tusome. Read for us please. Corinthians chapter 8 verse 11 Lakini sasa timizeni kule kutenda nako ili kama vile mlivyokuwa tayari kutaka vivyo hivyo mkawe tayari na kutimiza kwa kadri ya mlivyo navyo Now therefore perform the doing of it that is there that as there was a readiness to will so there may be a performance also out of that which ye have. Anasema sasa, he says right now, timizeni kule kutenda na. Fulfill the doing also. Kwa kadri ya mlivyo taka. According to how he wanted. 
Ukiona okay, mtu anatafanya ubaya, you see one doing something evil. Huwa ni huu moyo umetaka huu. Because the heart has wanted it. Amen. Amen. Si bahati mbaya. It's not bad luck. Huwa ni hapa moyoni hapa. It's right in his heart. Ametaka. He has wanted it. Na utapewa nguvu za kufanya mema to do good things. Ukijaliwa hapa moyoni, if you're able in your heart. Moyo wa kutaka. The heart of wanting it. Useme mimi and you say I ubaya huu this evil dhambi hii sin siitaki I don't want it Mungu niokoe so me God sasa umetaka now you wanted utapewa kutenda you'd be given how to do it hallelujah hallelujah uwezo utakuja the power will come kwa kukufanya to make you ushinde hiyo dhambi to overcome that sin maana kila amuri aliyoiweka Mungu wetu because whatever commandment our god kept uwezo uko the power is there wa kumfanya mwanadamu to make the human being atimize amri to fulfill that commandment hallelujah 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 lakini wewe unasema but you say nitawezaje how can i do it kukaa na mume huyu how can i stay with him if he has these affairs oh hujataka i say you have no one basi utakaa vita kila siku then you'll be having fights every day amen amen amba wewe because kule moyoni hujataka you have no one in your heart sasa nguvu hazitakuja then the strength will never come down to you maana unasema nitawezaje because you say how shall i do it na hakuna awezaye and there's nobody who is able Ale to do it. the one enabling us kushinda mabaya ni, ni Mungu to overcome the evil is God hakuna awezaye there's nobody who can do it hata usione wewe umeuzeshwa kitu don't find that you've been enabled to do something ambaye ameshindwa and despite somebody else who is defeated amen amen ndio maana Mungu anasema that's why god says usimudharau munyonge don't despise the weak person mtu ambaye ametatizika one was that had so many complications mabaya, in evil things useme kwa nini yule amefanya hivi don't say why has that one done this murumie sympathize with him see yeah, yeah. it's not him amen amen kule moyoni in his heart aliondolewa kutaka kutenda mema the one thing to do good things was removed from him kaingia kutaka kutenda mabaya now what he ended was the will to do bad things ndio nguvu zimekuja and that's the strength that has come to him sasa unapomdharau now whenever you despise wewe wasema then you say mimi nimeshinda kwa nguvu zangu i've overcome through my strength hallelujah hallelujah kesho but tomorrow utoa na wewe unashindwa na mabaya you find yourself being defeated by everything maana umedharau munyonge because you despise the weak ndio tuko hapa that's why we here tangu mwanzilishi from the founder tunaonywa kwa upendo we want by love hallelujah hallelujah hata kama ndugu ametatizika even if a brother has had complications missionary hakuchukia wenye kombo kombo missionary never never had any wala mwanzilishi hakuchukia wenye kombo kombo the founder mother never had any crooked people sikio huo mtu kumkataa to feel the uh-huh. refuse that person completely no tunamuonya kwa upendo we want him through love kwa jua si yeye we know it's not him amen amen nyuma ya mtumishi wa mungu being behind the son of god watu wa kuhurumiana people who can sympathize with one another tunaonyana kwa kuhurumiana we want us we want each other sympathetically kwa kutakiana ndugu ageuke or wanting the brother to to turn and, and change amen amen hallelujah hallelujah ndivyo tumelelewa na mama mwanzilishi na missionary the saw been brought up by the father mother and missionary na ndivyo tunavyolelewa na mtumishi wa Mungu and the saw we brought up by the son of god ndio juzi nikakwambia that's why i told you the other day ni tuwe hapa you should be here tujue tuko safarini knowing that we're traveling na neno hili mtumishi wa Mungu linena kila wakati. And the son of God keeps saying this thing every time. Huko safarini. We are traveling. Na aliye safarini. And whoever is traveling. Ana jihadari. He's taking care. Ana kujali. He will be very respectful. Semo yake. His manner of saying. Nendo yake. His deeds. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sasa anapokosolewa mali na ndugu au dada. So whenever he is criticized somewhere by a brother or a sister Hasemi kwa nini? He doesn't say why. Mtu anayetafuta kuokoka, one who seeks salvation, anajali, will respect. Anajali maonyo. Will respect such things like admonitions. Anajali maonyo. He'll be respecting the, the, the admonitions. Haleluya. Haleluya. Haangalii tu ile jema ambalo anafanya. He doesn't look at the good thing he's doing. Haangalii tu ile wema afanyao. He doesn't look at the goodness he's doing. Anajua he mimi ni mwanadamu. He knows that I'm a human being. Na mwanadamu yote chini ya jua. And any human being under the sun. Biblia inasema tangu tumboni. The Bible says right from the stomach. Ni mwenye dhambi. He's a sinner. Haleluya. Haleluya. Sasa mtu anayejali kuokoka kwake, the one who respects his own salvation, will receive such admonitions. 
Angalie tu ule wema afanyao. kila mwanadamu ana mazuri. Because every human being has got good things. Na ana ubaya. And has got some evil in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lakini wewe wako kwa mazuri tu. But you want just the good things. Hata ukiambia pale kuna kombo. If you feel so told there's something you say why? Ah, wewe uko duniani hapa. I want you on this earth aren't you? Hata bwana Yesu mwenyewe, bwana Yesu mwenyewe. In the Lord Jesus himself. Mtu mmoja alienda kwake. One man went to him. Akamwambia mwalimu mwema. And told him good teacher. Nifanyeje niokoke? What do I do to be saved? Akamwambia mimi si mwema. He told him I'm not good. Hakuna aliye mwema duniani. There's nobody who is so good on this earth. Mwema ni Mungu peke yake. The only good person is God. Lakini ukitaka kuokoka, you be saved. Fanya A B C D. Do this in A B C D. Hata bwana Yesu alikataa kuitwa mwema. But the Lord Jesus refused to be called a good one. Lakini wewe ni ndugu gani dada gani wewe? What type of brother you what type of sister you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hata majirani wanakuambia hapa umekosea na pale umekosea na pale umekosea na pale umekosea. Even the neighbors are saying you made a mistake there and you made a mistake there and somewhere else. Amen. Amen. Lakini unawaambia majirani kwa nini? But you tell the neighbors why? Ah, uh, waenda wapi? Now where are you going to? Tulia. Just take home. Ndio wewe ni mwanadamu. Knowing that you're a human being. Na mwanadamu yoyote chini ya jua. And the sun. Ni mwenye dhambi. He's a sinner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ni mwenye dhambi. He's a sinner. Ni mwenye dhambi. He is a sinner. Ni mwenye dhambi. He is a sinner. Ndio maana bwana Yesu alitoka juu mbinguni. That's why the Lord Jesus came from above. Kuja duniani kuokoa wenye dhambi. And came to this earth to save the sinners. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yapopo wote palipo na mmoja na sasa mimi ni mdhambi hapa. Even though there's one who says bwana Yesu anashuka kumuokoa huyu. The Lord Jesus will save that person. Ndio kwambia juzi la Hamisi. So told you on Thursday. Ni kila siku jioni namwambia Mungu nisamehe. Every evening I tell God to forgive me. Bana mimi ni mwenye dhambi. Because I'm a sinner. Mchana kutwa nimewaza asiyofaa Mungu wa mwanzo wangu. Because the wrong things God says forgive me please. Mchana kutwa nimetamka asiyofaa Mungu nisamehe. The whole day long I've uttered very useless things. Yajua yo sio yajua Mungu nisamehe. Whatever I know and whatever I don't know God forgive Mano, me. Mana utakatifu ni kitu cha ndani sana. Because holiness is a very deep thing indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Biblia inasema msilaumu don't blame msije mkalaumiwa lest you get blamed na kulaumu dhambi ingine kubwa is something very great a very great kila siku kwa mkristo that every christian every day will, will do it naweza kuwa nayo bila kujua i can have it without knowing na hiyo inaitwa kama kizungu common mistake and that's what is called a common mistake in english yani kosa la kawaida that means a very common mistake Ah dadi umesema hapa nifanyeje? Si nimekwambia. Oh dadi si nimekwambia ni hivi na hivi. But I told you this listen you have already blamed. Amen. Amen. Si nimekwambia ni hivi na hivi. But I told you this this and this. Umelau? You have already blamed. Hallelujah. 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 Ah ndugu. Oh brother. Unaenda wapi? Where are you going to? Na nilikuwa nimekwambia hakuna mfuko wa unga. I told you there's no packet of flour here. Si nimekwambia naenda madukani. But I told you I'm going to the shops, didn't I? Umemlaumu kwamba. You blamed her saying. Umesema naye? I've talked to her. Na amesahau haraka kwa nini? And what has he forgotten so quickly? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Kabisa. Indeed. Sasa wao kijivuna. Now if you are proud. Kwamba unafanya mema matupu. That you're doing some very good things only. Ah uh ah. -uh. Oh no. Hata unapiga magoti. Maybe you kneel down. Unamwambia Mungu kwa nini mimi sioni baraka ile? Telling God why don't I see that? Na sioni wema ule. I don't see that goodness either. Na mimi nakupenda pale na kupenda pale. And I love you here and there. Ah uh, wewe unakosa kujali wewe. Then you don't know that that. Lakini atakayeokolewa. But the one who na say. Na uokovu wa Mungu saa zote. I see salvation of God every night again. Ni jali wa kujali. The one who is enabled to respect. Hata ameshinda salama salamini. Even if you stay very well throughout the day. Anapoenda magotini. It goes kneeling down. Namwambia Bwana Yesu nisamehe. It says the Lord Jesus forgive me. Amen mwenye dhambi. Me I'm a sinner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kuzungumza kwangu, my talking, kutenda kwangu, my doing, kujibu kwangu, my answering. Mungu nisamehe wa Mungu. God forgive me. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio tukasoma juzi mhubiri 7:20. Said the other day Ecclesiastes 3:7 was when he says. Bila shaka hapa duniani hapa duniani hapa. Doubt let's rely right on this earth. Hakuna mwanadamu afanyaye mazuri matupi mazuri matupi mazuri matupi. There's no human being who does just the right things and the good things only. Asifanye na dhambi. Not committing any sin. Bila shaka. Doubt let's. Ndio maana yake imetua saini ya dunia zamia. 100%. Mwanadamu ni mdhambi. The human being is a sinner. Bila shaka doubtlessly kuonyesha ni mia za mia is 100% tusomee hapa bila faras 720 ni muhubiri chapter 7 verse 20 book of priest of uh, ecclesiastes bila shaka hakuna mwanadamu mwenye haki hapa duniani ambaye afanya mema asifanye dhambi for there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not anasema bila shaka he says doubtlessly hapa duniani on this earth hakuna mwanadamu there's no human being ambaye anafanya jema jema kila siku keeps on doing the good things only every day asifanye na dhambi without committing any sin haleluya haleluya Hakuna there isn't anything like that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu naye alikataa. That's what the Lord Jesus refused. Alipoambiwa mwalimu mwema. When he was called a good teacher. Apana, he said no. I'm not good. It's only God, God alone. Ndiye mwema. Who is good? Lakini ukitaka kurithi ufalme. But if you want to inherit the kingdom. Shika amuri. Go about clinging to the commandments. Zipi zipi. He asked which ones? Shimu baba na mama. Or our father and mother. Haleluya. Haleluya. Akaambiwa amri zote. Was told of all the commandments. Mwisho akasema, finally he said, Hizo zote nimeshika. I've upheld all those things. Nilipi nilipi limebaki. What else is remaining? Yaani kule moyoni, that means in his heart. Anajiona yeye ni muhaki. He thought he was so justified and very just. Anajali hana. He didn't have any respect at all. Anaenda kwa Bwana Yesu. He's gone to the Lord Jesus. Ana upungufu. He has a deficiency. Lakini ndani mwake, but in him, amejivika haki. He's won some justice in Aoni him. Aoni sababu ya kuwa awe na upungufu. He doesn't see any cause to become a deficient. He is boasting that he's gone through through all the commandments of God. Amen. Amen. When Jesus commanded him, but the Lord Jesus told him, "Shika amuri." Uphold those commandments. He said, "Which ones?" Akazitaja bwana Yesu. The Lord Jesus mentioned them all. Akamwambia bwana Yesu, "I told the Lord Jesus, "Hayo yote ni tangu tumboni mimi nimeyashika." I've upheld those things right from the stomach. Niambie mengine lakini si hayo. Tell me something different, not these ones. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Akaambiwa haya kauza ulivyonavyo okay, wape masikini give to the poor alafu unifuate and then you follow me akasirika he go, he was very very annoyed na amesema anashika yote and he said he has upheld everything unaona mtu wa kiburi huyu you see this proud man asiye na kujali kule moyo he has no respect in his heart amen amen huyo akaenda na hasira zake but he went with his anger Hai bwana Yesu okay. akashangaa. The Lord Jesus was amazed. Nifikiri nimepata mwanafunzi mzuri. I thought I've got a very good learner here. Maana anataka kufundishwa. Because he wanted to be taught. Hai nimemfundisha amekasirika. I've taught him but he's grown angry instead. Amen. Amen. Ah. Akamona ndiye huyu anaenda. He saw him going away. There he is. Kaini na wokovu wenu. Stay along with your own salvation. Ah. What? Amen. Amen. Maana because hapa ndani in him ana roho ya kujivika haki. He had a spirit of justifying Uyo himself. Akaenda zake. There he went away. Hatusomi alirudi akatubu. Don't read that he came back to repent. Iliandikwa hivyo. That's how it was written. Na akaenda kabisa. And he went away completely. Yasoma alirudi siku moja. I'm read anywhere that Akasema he Akasema bwana Yesu nisamehe. And say the Lord Jesus please forgive me. Bwana ni kweli mimi ni mtu wa uchungu. Sorry I'm a man of vexation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bwana ndani mwake because in him alikuwa na roho ya kujivika haki. He had the spirit of just justifying himself. Ana kujali. He didn't respect at all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio tuko huko ndugu zangu. That's why we're inside here my dear brethren. Tukiwa nyuma ya mtumishi wa Mungu Emmanuel Kea Mzungu. Well behind the servant of God Emmanuel Kea Mzungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kuonywa na kufundishwa. We demolish and be taught. Tufikie utakaso. So as to reach into sanctification. Bila huo huwezi kumuona. Without which we can never see God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bila huo huwezi kumuona. Without that one you can never see God. Wewe ni okolewa you who are saved Don't despise that one who is not yet saved Hallelujah Hallelujah Ndio akasema bwana Yesu That's what the Lord Jesus said Msilaumu msije mkalaumiwa Don't blame lest you get blamed Msiukumu msije mkahukumiwa Don't judge lest you get judged Amen Amen 
Tumepewa kuhurumiana. Been given to sympathize with one another. Kuombeana. Praying for each other. Tuwe na kule kujali. We should have some respect. Ukiona wandugu wamekosea mahali, wadada wamekosea mahali. You see a brother having made a mistake against you somewhere. You sit down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unakaa chini. You sit down. Bona wanadamu. Why is it that a human beings? Wanadamu wenzangu. My fellow human beings. Maana Yesu Biblia inasema, but the Bible says, alikuwa Jesus grew up while Mungu pamoja na wanadamu. Well, pleasing God together with the human beings. Unajiuliza maswali. You ask yourself questions. Bona wanadamu, why is it that the human beings? Wanikosoe pale. Have criticized me. Majirani wanikosoe pale. The neighbors are also criticized me there. Ah, mimi sina haki. Then I'm, I'm not just. Mimi sina haki. I'm not just at all. Unajali unakaa chini. You respect and you sit down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Usiangali kazi yako moja unayoifanya kwa usahihi don't look at your work that you hata watu wanasifu hata majirani wanasifu ukakaa kwa hilo tu kujaliwe kujali being able to respect hallelujah hallelujah na dada amenikosoa pale na ndugu amenikosoa pale hapana no 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 mimi nina maneno ya kutengeneza have something to amend unakaa chini you sit down hallelujah hallelujah mtu huyu atatakasika huyu this one will be cleansed Atakasika. He'll be cleansed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Atakasika. He'll be cleansed very much. Roho hiyo that spirit ukiwanayo if you have it it will save you. Roho hiyo ya kujali. The spirit that respects. Amen. Amen. Ndio nikakwambia mimi. That's why I told you. Kila jioni every evening umeshinda huko na huko na huko na huko. You been around so many other places. I tell God forgive me. Niajuayo na nsio yajua. Whatever you know and whatever you don't nimechamuka. know. Which have uttered. Ambayo nimejibu sivyo sivyo. Which have answered wrongly somehow. Unisamehe so, Mungu wangu. Give me mwanyo. God of the Father and the Mother. Alafu ndio naomba mengine tena. And then I pray for some other things. Niokoe na lile. Save me from that thing. Na lile. And that other thing. Na lile. And that other thing. Na lile. And that other thing. Mtu anayetafuta huyu. This one who is seeking. That's what we call respecting. Then we shall be sanctified. You see the Lord Jesus being very close to you. He is always very close to sinners. If you are a sinner and you say, I don't give up. That's why the Lord Jesus came from heaven to this earth to save the human being from the sin. Their sins. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To save the human beings. With their sins. Hallelujah. 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 Alikuja duniani bwana Yesu. The Lord Jesus came to us. Akamwaga damu pale msalabani. And he shed his blood on the cross. Akasema imekwisha. And he said it is finished. Imekwisha. It is finished. Imekwisha. It is finished. Imekwisha. It is finished. Kwa akubalie. And to anyone who will agree. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kwa akubalie. When one will accept it. Anayejaliwa. When is enabled. Kujali. To respect. Kujali. To respect. Kutafuta. To seek. Amen. Amen. He'll be cleansed. That's why I tell you that I came here well, very young. In 1976, I was in class six. I was so late in going to school. But Lord, the same I felt in my heart. The judgment came right into my heart. I used to run away from self people at the beginning. In those years, I was 1965. Walikuwa wanahubiri kwa nguvu nyingi sana. They're preaching with very uh, with lots of power in there. ndio umeingia hapa Mombasa. That's when salvation has just entered Mombasa. Mimi ni kijana natembea mbio. Was a young man I was running about and walking along. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ni wakuenda shule la Kristo jaenda shuleni. I was going to school but I had never gone to school yet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wanaimba. They were singing. I hear that from Mombasa. An evangelist has come. His name was T.L. Osborne. Then salvation was very strong. Salvation, religious salvation that is. They were singing. Walking along the road. Singing. Baraka, baraka. Baraka, baraka. Mungu yumwema. Ata kubariki. Oh, mungu yumwema. Takubariki, go yumwema. 
I was in served yet, but when they sing like that, I feel they're saying that is very true. That's very true. And when they stand up to preach, they say, where will you be on the final day? Because there's hell. It has everlasting fire. And there's right up in heaven where to stay with the Lord Jesus forever and ever. If you're not saved, where will you be on that day when the Lord Jesus returns? I was a young man yet. I was still very young. I had my uncle. He was the only third person with his family there. And the third people used to visit each other. Being I would listen to them. Eh? Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Baba anasema, hakuna kuokoka. My father was saying, don't get saved. I would listen to them. But it scared me. And then I ran to salvation. I feared the fire. But they used to preach it that way. They were looking up at heaven. I thought the Lord Jesus would come down with the fire burning. Hallelujah. I felt very afraid. But if I tell my father I want to be saved, he said no. But when the day for salvation came to me, I didn't bid farewell to my father. I didn't bid farewell to my father. Hallelujah. I felt my spirit urging me right in my heart. I would run away from certain people some time behind me. Preaching at, along the road on the evenings. Where well, the junctions like this one. And I come from school from that side. It is an evening. The preaching. Jesus saves. I would sit down with my books there until I wait for them. They would close their eyes. Then I pass very fast running. I didn't want them to call me. Come to be saved, young man. I thought if I refuse, I'll have committed a very big sin. But whatever they are saying, I feel it's very true indeed. Maybe they call me and then I refuse. Oh no. I would wait for the others to go to school. I wait and then they close their eyes. And then I ran past them, past them very fast. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when the salvation day came up, I just feel like going, going to there to receive a prayer of repentance. I didn't bid farewell to my father. Amen. Amen. That was 20th January 1976. I said to my mama, I went to my I told her, I want you to pray the prayer of repentance for me. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mama Yule Ali Furahi. That lady was so happy. Oh, my son, if you want to be saved, thank you very much. She prayed the prayer of repentance to me. I was saved for four months. And in, in, in the religion there, on the fourth month, I came here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because I had a testimony There's somebody at Mariakani That man prays for people And preaches to people The hindrance to somebody is good And what is it? It's a sin And then my private past was so And those two brothers One was bigger than the other And those two brothers One was bigger than the other Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so many other things. They told the pastor, pray for and me. Pray for me every Sunday after the service. That pastor was really praying. That man was so prayerful. Every Sunday. Who is the sick man here? To make a big queue here in front of him. You prayed for. And you pushed down. You took a Hallelujah. 
Kini kashanga. But I was amazed. Who zima how to kamili kwani? But as in this life come back to me. What deficiency do I have? Lakini nashukuru Mungu wa mama Andrea. God the founder of mother. Mungu wa missionary. God of missionary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ukawa na ndugu yangu anasomea Mariakani hapa. And the brother was uh, going to school at Mariakani here. Anaitwa Yutasan Munga. His, his name was Yutasan Munga. Yeye alikuwa mpiga rangi hapa mkubwa sana. He was a painter here. Enzi hizo za missionary. Those days of missionary. Na mzee Pius. Na mzee Pius. Marehemu. The late. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Akifunga shule akija kule nyumbani. When he closed the school. Anasema kule Mariakani kuna mtu wa Mungu anaitwa Elisha. He said there's a man of God Mariakani whose name is Elisha. Yeye Mungu. He has God. Yaani ukikanyaga tele plot ya kanisa. That means even you step on the plot of the church. Wewe umepona kitambo. He'll be healed the long time ago. Na anahubiri dhambi. And the pictures about sin. Anahubiri dhambi. The pictures about sin. Asa anaambia. He was telling me. Mimi niliunga ma yangu hii. I confess my sin. Na nikaunga ma yangu ile. I confess that I sin. Na confess about that sin. Na dhambi zile anataja. And those sins was mentioned. Mimi hata alifanya tukiwa pamoja some of them were committed with me well together with you maana tulikuwa ni mkubwa wangu i knew them because even though we were elder, tukienda pamoja we used to go together ni utoni tunaogelea pamoja we would swim together in rivers we would tunachunga pamoja we were tending livestock together ana muuliza then i would ask him wewe uliungama you confess mimi nitaungama kwa nani where to whom shall i confess na muhubiri wetu elimu hiyo hana and our preacher doesn't have that knowledge hallelujah hallelujah Anahubiri ukishaokoka umesamewa magharibi na mashariki dhambi zilisha msalabani wewe unasema ulikaa na pastor ukamwambia mimi nitamwambia nani and you said you said the pastor told him what should i tell hallelujah nasikia kiu i was very thirsty njaa ya kunena maneno yangu so hungry to speak out my words maana amenihubiria habari za miracle revival because he preached me about miracle church hallelujah 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 amenihubiria nikajali wa kujali ushuhuda wake ule his testimony nikapokea i received nikapewa kujali i was meant to respect it alionishuhudia whatever testify to me i was meant to love it i was meant to want it i was meant to want it nikatamani i covered it akanambia tafuta tikiti he told me look for the fair mwezi wa 4 the fourth month nitakupeleka mariakani i shall take you to mariakani nikatafuta tikiti i looked for fair tukaja hapa i came here hallelujah hallelujah amen Amen. Saka bas ya kuja hapa. No before coming here. Kwa kule kupenda. By loving. Nilikuwa nikilala naona sura ya missionary na sijafika hapa. I would see the face of missionary when I slept before coming here. Naona kama mhubiri anahubiri. I was singing like a preacher preaching. Nilikuwa kwetu. And I was at our home. Yaani kwa kule kupenda kule. Because of the loving. Naona kama nimefika Mariakani sijafika Mariakani. I found it as if I had already reached Mariakani before reaching it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sasa yule mhubiri yule. Then that preacher na sijakuja Mariakani. And I hadn't come to Mariakani. Anahubiri dhambi. He's preaching about sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Natamani aniulize wewe rimba. I would convey him to ask for rimba. Kwa uponi sababu ni nini? We praying for you I don't get Kule moyo natamani hivyo kule moyoni. In my heart that's what I, lakini, what I wanted. Lakini haniulizi. But he wasn't asking me. Sasa wakisema kuna ushuhuda leo. Let say there's a testimony today. Leo kuna ushuhuda leo. There's a testimony today. Amen. Amen. Nikasema mimi ka, kuna ushuhuda leo. I told if there's a testimony today. Mimi nasimama. I will stand up. Nikijana, I was young. Nasikia kuchomeka maneno mengi niliyofanya hapa moyoni. I was so burned in my heart because of so many things that committed. Sijafika Mariakani. I didn't come to Mariakani. Lakini injili hii. But this gospel. Nimeipokea kupitia ndugu yangu yule. I received it through my brother. Na watu wamejaa kanisa hilo. And the people are so full in the church. Nawaambia bwana asifiwe. I told them praise the Lord. Wanasema amen kijana. They said, young man. Maniwaambia hapa siponi hapa. Pray for me every day I don't get healed. Kwa sababu mimi ni mwenye dhambi. Because I'm a sinner. Ah, what? Amen. Amen. Na dhambi zangu are my sins ni hizi are these ones na hizi and this one yale ya wawili yale those things for two yale ya wawili mimi na wazi I was speaking them very openly hallelujah hallelujah ni hizi they are these ones na hizi and these ones nikupenda baba i love my father nienda huko kuchungani nikakoseka hizi then i was misguided this way mungu anisamehe god forgive me na machozi yanatoka and i was I was crying I sharing tears vivyo mwingine kule ndani then i feel some revival in me hallelujah hallelujah pastor akanifuata pastor followed me wewe kijana young man maeno hayo yapata wapi these things from hallelujah hallelujah 
I told him, I hear that there's somebody at Maria Kani. His name is Elisha. Why don't you call him here for a He told him, he told me, I know that man. And he knew him all right. After that, I heard that they were together at Makupa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, I know that man. That one is a law. He just wants his churches to be so many. But I kept quiet. Whatever tribe he was. But if he has any word to say the human being, he should listen to him. And I told my brother, take me to Maria Kani. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take me to Maria Kani. Take me to Maria Kani. That's when he brought me here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then I was taught about the sins of cars. My misguiding. All the bitterness I had to and they were so the private the bus, they was the through the house, through the children. One of the the founder saved me and healed me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They were wearing trousers. Amen. Amen. That's the first time I saw it. After I'm being prayed for the preparation, I was baptized in a religion. In him, was so much water. May God forgive me. I refused even the name. I said everything should be miracle revival. I was baptized here a second time. And I've been baptized the Kaloleni already. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In, in much water. But I said I don't want it. 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 I don't want I had already made a mistake anyway. That's why I have two names to be baptized. Because of laughing so much. Amen. Amen. That's so it should be inside here. Below the Son of God, Emmanuel May God enable you to love, to respect. Yeah. Salvation is there. The healing is there. The peace is there. But then do you respect? Do you want? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whoever wants will search. You have to be very diligent. To be classified is there, but you must be very diligent. You have to be very Lots of respect in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When your fellow sisters are blaming you for Uta something, you say, don't, don't, don't say you are just sinners. Ah, ah, no, 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 don't say that. Tuko we are traveling. Angalia. The look around. Yes, Jesus, Jesus pleased the human beings and God. If you see the human beings are not any fire, stay very calm. Don't justify yourself. Just stay very calm. Why don't they edify the human beings? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you won't see God on the way. You'll just see your brethren here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are meant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you'll be justified and sanctified for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're meant to respect that way, if you're meant to respect that way, if you're meant to respect that way, to get to this church just justification without which you can never see God. Do you see you here about our brother? He went out of his house just yesterday. He took his son and said, let's go. Maybe to help him to remove the maze. Then he met all, with all those things. He didn't plan for them. He didn't think about them. Amen. Amen. He didn't plan for them. He didn't think about them. He just met them. Today is no more. And you will see the brother. The brothers warned you, the fellow sisters warned you. But you don't respect that. To amend your, your, your heart. What guarantee do you have to live up to tomorrow? And the message of the Lord used to say, the human being lives. 
as if you'll die the next minute. Saa hii unawaza nini? Right now what are you thinking of? Na dakika hii unawaza nini? What are you thinking of at this minute? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Saa hii unawaza nini? What are you thinking about this hour? Na dakika hii unawaza nini? What are you thinking of at this minute? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mtu wa kujali, man who respects, mawazo yake, his own his thoughts, mwenendo wake, his man of life. Haya wewe ndugu amekukwaza kidogo. Okay brothers are knowing you a little bit. Wala na uchungu paka asubuhi. You feel so bitter up to the morning. Kana kwamba una guarantee utafika kesho. As if you are so guaranteed that you'll get to tomorrow. Na mu, na, na Paulo alisema Paul said, kasirika be angry lakini sifike jioni but you not get up to the evening Uwe still angry. Na kweli, have the anger all right asubuhi in the morning lakini jioni sifike but you should not get to the evening Uwe umesamehe you should have forgiven and for second it na mwingine yeye akikwazwa and all those who are willing is offended even three even three days later ujao, even next month bado ana hasira zake he still have his anger hallelujah hallelujah amen amen na kupona hasira kuko and being healed of anger is there. Kujaliwe kujali. But you must be enabled to Ujulize respect to question yourself. Je, hali hii mimi? Now this condition. Bwana Yesu akanijia. Hey, Jesus comes to na huku nimejaa me. uchungu. Well, I'm so full of bitterness watu, and blaming people. Je, nitaingia mbinguni? Shall I get into heaven? Ndio maswali nilikuwa nikijiuliza mimi. Those questions I used to ask myself. Hata leo ndio maswali najiuliza mimi. Those questions I ask myself even today. Kila siku. Every day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mara namwambia Mungu nisamee. Sometimes we get tell God forgive me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndipo that's when utakatifu holiness tutaufikia shall reach to it kama mtumishi wa Mungu apewavyo kufundisha. Is God given to teach. Ukijaliwa kujali huko. Is able to rest back to wako. Much. Your own man of God. Your spare yourself yako. you are answering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ukijua mimi ni mwanadamu. If you know you are a human being. Naishi duniani sina uh, haki. I live on this earth and justified. Basi usilaumu mwingine hata kama amekosea mahali. Then don't blame anybody else even if he's transgressed somebody. Ndio tunaonyana kwa upendo. That's why we, we want each other through Sipa the love. Mutu. Not hurting somebody. Ukijua knowing that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hata mimi nami. Me too. Sikosi dhambi. I can have a sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Naweza kwangu kama bayani pekee. I can fall into evil things just tomorrow. Ndio hatuhukumiani. That's why we should that's why we should not blame each other. We don't blame each other. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tunapendana. We love each other. Na kuhesabiana bora. And esteeming each other one better. Na kuombeana sisi kwa sisi. I'm praying for each other. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio tutakuwa kanisa takatifu. That's the when we shall receive the maombi yale mtumishi wa Mungu anatuombea. Although the prayers that someone of God does for us. Kwa sababu tumekuwa wana wa Mungu, we become children of God. Wasio na hatia. We don't have any guilt, very innocent. Ijapo hatia iko, lakini tunajali kutubu kila jioni na kila asubuhi. And repent every morning and every evening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Basi tunakuwa wa Kristo. We become Christians. Wana hesabiwa haki kila dakika mbele za Bwana Yesu. We just find righteousness Every minute before the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Kabisa. Indeed. Ndio utaona? That's why you'll find. Unafikia kufanikiwa kule Mungu anakutakia kwa maombi ya mtumishi wake. prosperity that we want. Na baraka zao tuombea tutazifikia. And if he prays again, God will hear him. Na amani ile anayotakia tutaifikia. And we shall reach to this peace with that we will need. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maana yeye mawazo yake kwetu sisi mtumishi wa Mungu ni tuwe na amani kama Mungu anavyotuwazia. As God thinks for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Lakini ujaliwe kujali but, kule moyoni. But being able to respect right in your heart. Kujali kule moyoni. To respect right in your heart. ujaliwe kujali. As a young man should respect mienendo yako. You don't man of life. Usiishi na maneno ya giza. Don't live with some words of darkness. wenzako hawakuoni. Because some fellow Christians Ujaliwe don't see. Ujaliwe kule moyoni hofu ya Mungu. You should have the fear of God. Ujue Mungu heart. ananiona. You should know that God is seeing me. Haleluya. Haleluya. Haya ndugu yetu huyo. Okay, our brother again. Ghafla ameenda. But he suddenly he's gone. Haleluya. Haleluya. Hai. Okay. Hakuwaza. He didn't think about it. Hakufikiria. He didn't really think about it. No thought of it. He didn't he didn't care about it. Amen. Amen. Hakufikiria. He didn't think of it. Na alitoka nyumbani asubuhi hiyo. He left his house in the morning. Kachukua mwanawe twende Maria Kani. Said, Let's go to Maria Kani. Haya. Okay. Amen. Amen. Kwa hivyo, therefore Tuko safarini. We are traveling. Na aliye safarini hujihadhari. Anyone who is traveling must take care. Hujihadhari. Must take care. Hujihadhari. 
be very cautious. Be very careful. Akanyagapo. Whatever he steps on. Anaangalia. He looks around. Je, kuna shimo? Is there a hole Je, kuna there? mwiba? Is there a thorn there? Anaangalia. He looks at it. Ndio unaona mtu anapotembea saa yote anaangalia chini. Sin one going around but he looks down there. That's why anaenda. He doesn't look up there where he's going this way. He looks down there. Amen. Amen. Hata ni la mikweli lakini unaangalia chini. Even it is tabaka. Ndio angalia kule mara umerudi hapa chini. Because even if you look aside you come back to start looking down there again. Maana unaweza kunga wajiwe because you can stumble and stumble. Unaweza kwa shimo. Unaweza kuingia kwa shimo. Au kuna msumari. Nail. kujali taking care rohi ukiwa nayo if you have the spirit unataka sika you get cleansed haleluya haleluya unataka sika you get sanctified unataka sika you get very sanctified ndani ya nyumba yako mama In, inside your house Unakuwa mama kujali. you have the rest of it now my man of sense is my is my stocking ndugu nao unajali as a brother Jee also care yangu. about her my jenga wa nyumbani mwangu there are people of my house rohi then that's how it is hiyo. with that diligence hiyo. with that diligence kwa ndani yetu sote it should be inside us all wana yesu the lord jesus adam yake with his blood aliyo mwaga pale msalabani which is shared at the, at the cross itakutakasa will cleanse you for you cleanse you adam ya bwana yesu with the blood of the lord jesus inaondoa dhambi zote all sins kwa wenye kujali for those people who respect hallelujah hallelujah mwana yesu christo jesus christ ndiye yule jana is the same yesterday Naleo. and today na hata milele and forever Hallelujah. 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 Lakini anaangalia. But he's looking at you. Nani atafutaye? Who is that? Nani mwenye kujali? Who is respecting down there? Nani mwenye kujali? Who is respecting down there? Anaye aliye na njaa. Who is hungry? Atakaye. Who wants? Kuokoka na dhambi ile. Na msemo ile ni mtakase. And such man I'm talking then I can cleanse him. Hallelujah. 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 Anauliza ni nani? He's asking who is this? Atakaye ni nani? Who wants? Who is that who wants? Mwenye kutafuta ni nani? Who is that seeking? Mwenye kujali ni nani? Who is respecting? Ni mutakase. Let me cleanse him. Awe kanisa langu takatifu. Become my holy church. Afikie kila ombalo. Then he gets to wherever he prays. Apate. Get it. Hallelujah. 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 Ndio yuko aliyetafuta. Is a brother who sought. Katika mji huu. In this home. Ni missionary. Was missionary. Na mama mwanzilishi. And the father and the mother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Leo yuko anayetafuta. Ndio this one is seeking. Mtu wa Mungu. The son of God. Emmanuel Kiamzungu. Emmanuel Kiamzungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yeye tulikuwa naye kule Tanzania. We with him in Tanzania. Mwaka wa 29 wote. The whole of the last year. Uh, 2009. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tungaje anamtuma huko? The pastor of the Lord sent him there. Anamwambia kule kuna kazi nyingi atawekana uwe na mwenzako akusaidie. There's so much work you should have a colleague to help you along. Amen. Amen. Anamuuliza utaenda na nani? He ask, he ask him, with whom will you go? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Anaambiwa aende na Rimba huyo. Was so go with Rimba. Sasa tukaenda sote kule nikasoma mengi kwake. So went together so I read so many things from him. Huyo mzee, this old man. Anaheshimu kila mtu. Honors everybody. Hapazi mtu yeye, hapazi mtu. He doesn't want to offend anybody. Sijamuona amekwaza mtu kama anataka kusema. Amekwaza mtu kama anataka kusema. Or maybe he's annoyed at that. Mtumishi wa Mungu Emmanuel Kaya Mzungu. So no God Emmanuel Kaya Mzungu. To offend somebody. Hata akasirike. And he grows angry. I've never seen the sort of thing at all. Hallelujah. Anaheshimu kila mtu. He honors everybody. Na kuhesabu bora watu. And esteeming people to be very much better than him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. What? I look at him. him. This man. It's very different. Kutakuja wa ndugu pale wana tie nzito nzito. They come brethren there with a very heavy tie. Na mama wanyonge. And some very weak women. Anaambia rimba. Who tell me rimba? Sikiza yule ndugu mwenye tie kubwa yule. This is the brother with the big tie there. Na mimi nasikiza huyu nyanya. And I'm listening to this girl mother. Nyanya anatoka makamasi. She's a lady that's shedding some mucus. Mimi naona mimi angenipa yule nyanya ambaye. And I thought he would give me the, 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 the grandmother who has mucus. Sikilize. Then I would listen to her. Sema, sikilize yule ndugu pale. You got that person there? What? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nikamsoma huyu yuko tofauti huyu. Then I read him saying he's very different. Amen. Amen. Ni mhubiri kweli? It's a picture, all right? Lakini yuko tofauti. But it's different. Maana tumekaa tumewahi kukaa na wengine pamoja. Because we've been able to stay with the, the other people together. Na wandugu wengine pamoja mahali pengine. Some different places at different places with different brothers. Amen. Amen. Yeye anasikiliza wale wenye tai kubwa kubwa. But he will listen to those ones with big ties. Lakini 
And I would give him the grand marriage. But I said, this one is different. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It's to me another one better. That spirit. I didn't have it. Then I knew this one. But the spirit of God in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Indeed. He has the spirit of God to esteem other people better. Better. Esteeming another person better. Esteeming another person better. He has a saving spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Kabisa. Indeed. Kabisa. Indeed. I said. Siku moja, one day, kumbe anadeni, and he had a dead. Anadeni, he had a dead. Walikopa mukopo. They took a loan. Mama alichukua mukopo. Of the mother took a loan. Wakulipa kwa riba. To pay with, with interest. Na tarehe imeisha. And the dead had come up and gone Yombo out. Yombo vinakuchukuliwa. Then the items were to be taken away. Na mchana kutwa hasemi. And all day long it was said. Kukosote na salamu lakini hasemi. We were together that this how many didn't say it. Alleluia. Alleluia. Na wandu kwa situa zito wako. And some heavy brethren were there. Amba wange wafata jamani mimi na denu huko nyumbani. Whom we would tell I've got a dead back home here. Na mama anasema. And the my lady says. Yombo vina kuchukuliwa kesho. Nipeni pesa ni kalipe. Page. Je, mutapenda pastor wenu aondo sofasti yake ichukuliwe. Do you like your pastor's sofa said be taken away? Ah, what? Akanyamaza. We kept quiet. Usiku. At night. Hata alikuwa tumelala. In fact, we were asleep. Amoka. I heard knocking at my door saying, wake up. It's a message that is entered into my phone. Hebu, angalia. Look at it. Kangalia. I looked at it. Ah, what? I told me this money doesn't come in here. It was six or five thousand shillings. He said, where did this man come from? I told him there's a brother from Nairobi. And this night, I don't know what time it was. Hasn't this brother slept yet? This brother, hasn't this brother slept? He told me I had something complicated. Mama, my wife called me on the telephone this morning. He took a lot. She took a lot. Na kesho ndi omuisho asubui. And tomorrow morning is the last day. The officer wa na kujatukua vyombo vyote. The officers are coming to pick up all the items. Walipe mkopo u. And may pay up that loan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thought this old man and and the saw the present here if it was six or three thousand there was nothing to and they seeing a preacher was crying they give him much at once but he had believed in the God of the Father who was praying to the God of the Father who knows the desires of your heart in fact he knows the desires of your heart too hallelujah he respects the peace of somebody else he respects the should not have Offend any brother or sister. Atakupa, but one will give you. Hapo, badaye, but after that, anangunika. he will murmur. He respects not offending. He said, Call that brother and ask Ye, him. Had he slept yet? When he called that brother, he asked him the brother, haven't you slept? He told him, no. I was in a very heavy sleep. Very heavy sleep But I was walking now. I was told, send this man to the pastor right now. So you are walking now? Hey. Oh, yes. Ah. What? He said, then God has surely used you. Brother, may God bless you. Continue sleeping. That's why he told me, Rimba, there was a dead at home. Easy pesa. Take this money. Do A, B, C, D, and God take this money to the father. This very night. This very night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation was obtained. Until tomorrow. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! That is respecting spirit. That respects not to offend anybody, my dear. Okay, I may go to a brother. I tell him of these needs. His soul will be hurt. I'll give him your right. But his soul will be harmed. He'll be harmed at his heart. When he has his own plans, he goes to take the, his son to school. But he will honor you saying the pastors wanted it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I learned from him from that day up to tomorrow. 
That's why I keep on saying. Let the, the crusade come. Alafu mtumishi wa Mungu Emmanuel Kaya Mzungu. The son of God Emmanuel Kaya. Aulize wa ndugu wote na wadada. To ask all the brothers and sisters. Haya niambieni huyu Rimba huyu. Okay, Rimba about Rimba. Nani aliyekuwa sana huyu? Who was offended by this one here? Wa mfuko wa unga siku moja. So not giving him a packet of flour one day. Huyu atakayesimama huyo. That one will stand up. Mtampeleka kotini. I'll take him to court. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Alafu kusimama dada. And then a sister stands up. Ndugu. Or a brother. Aseme huyo rimba siku moja huyo. One day that rimba. Alinipigia simu. Call me on phone. Wana mwanao amefukuzwa karo. Because his sign had been his sign had been chased away from school. Nikaupa nikaribu mpango yangu. I gave him the school fees the sport. Nikakwasika sana lakini sikusema nikasamee mali kwa sababu. I was so offended because I didn't but I didn't say I was so offended. I would tell her come here. Niambie tarehe ngapi? Tell me what date. Na saa ngapi? At what time? Na shahidi wako ni nani aliyekuwa karibu na wewe? to you before the judge hallelujah hallelujah amen amen kenya uganda na tanzania kenya uganda and the whole of tanzania hata hapa yuko na aseme right now if there's any at this point let him say it moja inwe mkono kama yuko then one raise up his hand if there is there anybody hallelujah hallelujah hakuna there's none pengine mama aisa kuinua mkono maana kweli Maybe your mama can raise her hand because truly. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man was as wangu hawa mimi. Because these are my parents. Siku moja tulikuwa tumesakama tukalia huko. We were stuck somewhere and we cried there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lakini raia hawa, but such public people here. Amen. Amen. Huyu mama akiunua mkono nitasema asante. If our, our mother raises her hand and say thank you very much. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo tulieni. Haja zetu Mungu wa mama mwanzilishi anajua. Wewe ujaliwe kujali. Just be able to respect. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ujaliwe kujali. Be able to respect. Unaenda hapa la Mungu. And move along the word of God. Tendo la Mungu. And bring what is God. Kutoa Mungu akuagizavyo. Offering in the manner God has. Hata hivi umekuja kanisani. Right now you've come to church. Mungu amepambia chukua sadaka hivi. Uendo katolee Mungu. And God you offer. Je, umejaliwa kujali kutii sauti hiyo? Okay. Respect that voice when it came to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bidi hiyo tu. That diligence. Bidi hiyo tu. Just that diligence. Roho ya kujali hiyo. That's respecting spirit. Ah mtumishi wa Mungu akiomba hajazidi tutapata. Oh, we shall get our needs. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Naomba tusimame. Ah should you stand up please? Kabisa. Indeed. Kabisa. Indeed. Ukiona roho ufusia spirit. Ukiona neno ufusia spirit. Sibure. Repeating Sibure. something is not in vain. Kuna mmoja hapa hajafahamu. Who has in know? Alijaingia. He doesn't enter into him. Hajalielewa. He doesn't understood it. Usiseme mbona ninahubiriwa kila wakati. Don't say why is it preached every time? Kuna mmoja hapa hajaelewa. Who has not understood it? Hajafahamu. He has not known it. Amen. Amen. Na leo amefahamu. And today he has known it. Na kesho atafahamu. And he know again tomorrow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kabisa. Indeed. Tusomee hapo Hebrania. Read for us the book of Hebrews. 2 3. Anasema he says, Kipo jali wa kuvuka. We don't expect such salvation. Tunaponaje sisi? How shall we escape then? Tusomee. Read for us. Twende tukaombe. That we may go to pray. Sisi je tutapataje kupona tusipojali wokovu mkuu namna hii ambao kwanza uli neno na Bwana? kisha ukadhibitika kwetu na wale waliosikia kabisa how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation which at the first began to be spoken by the lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him amen amen sisi je how about us tutapataje kupona how shall we escape usipojali wokovu mkuu namna hii if we neglect such great salvation which was spoken at first na you, by those who had it it was confirmed to us it has been confirmed hata ukaona kupona it is you saw the healing it was so confirmed hata ukaona kubarikiwa saw the blessings sasa huoni tena we don't see them anymore because of stopping the spirit yale yaliongozwa kwayo hata ukaona kufanikiwa and until you saw the hata ukaona kupona prosperity and we will be able to tell the lord jesus return to me the spirit that cares 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 ndio ya kutafuta to seek nifikie wema wako let's close our eyes baba mungu wa mama mwanzilishi 
Tunakushukuru tena asubuhi ya leo kwa kutukusanya pamoja baba. Wewe humpa mtumishi wako neno lako. Na baba unampa kunena na kurudia kwa kusudi jema. Sante kwa neno lako hili baba. Umeona meoni mwetu baba. Kuokoka kuko, kufanikiwa kuko, amani iko lakini tumenyang'anywa kujali. Ndugu yule amenyang'anywa kujali. Dada yule amenyang'anywa kujali. Kijana yule amenyang'anywa kujali. Baba nakusi ukaiumbe roho hii moyoni mwa mkubwa kwa mdogo. Umjalie kule moyoni mwake roho ya kujali. Bidii ya kutafuta misemo yake, menendo yake. E hey, Mungu wa missionary, jalia kila mmoja wetu kujali maana tuko safarini. Na bila wewe bwana Yesu hatuwezi wenyewe. Jalia kila mmoja roho ya kujali mienendo yake, misemo yake, mawazo yake ili afikie utakatifu ambao bila huo ulisema hatuwezi kukuona wewe. Sante baba kuumba roho hiyo. Sante baba kuumba roho hiyo ndani ya kila mmoja wetu. Sante baba kuumba roho hiyo ya kujali ndani ya mkubwa kwa mdogo. Kujali kutubu dhambi na kuacha maana hiyo ndiyo njia ya utakaso. Sante kutimiza. Sante kutenda. Hebu ndugu mpendwa. My dear brother, upendwae na Bwana Yesu. Who is loved by the Lord Jesus? Upendwae na Bwana Yesu. That you are loved by the Lord Jesus. Tenda ni mwako. Now inside you. Unajali. Do you respect? Ubiriwe. To be preached to. Hata dhambi imekuja wazi hivi. Even the sinners come so Lakini wasema watu hawajanijua. But you say people have known me. Hawajajua nililolifanya. They have known what I did. Eh. Oh yes. Hawajajua. They have known all right. Hata wanakusifu. But they're praising you. Wewe una kazi nzuri. You are doing some very good work. Lakini je? But then. Macho ni kwa Mungu. Out of the years of God. Yeah, you have the good work there. Si umeondolewa roho ya kujali. That scaring spirit has been removed from you. Umeondolewa roho ya kujali. That respecting spirit has been removed from you. The devil has given you obstinacy. Kwa ngoja dhiki ndio utubu. You are waiting for beating before you repent. Kwa ngoja dhiki ndio utubu. What else you are waiting for to repent? Na Mungu anasema. And God says. Na alisema nawe. He stopped with you. Siku za kufanikiwa kwako. In the days of your prosperity. Ndio anaongea na wewe leo. Then that's why he's talking to you again today. The problem hasn't come. Mabaya hayajaja. Evil things have not come. Ili kama utajali so if you respect kama utajali wa kujali if you will be able to respect kujali to respect tengeneze kiro chako and i made what you try tengeneze maisha yako you are made your life kwa ajili ya ufalme wa mbinguni the sake of the kingdom of heaven damu ya yesu the blood of jesus utakasa will cleanse you na dhambi yote from all sin damu ya bwana yesu the blood of the lord jesus utakasa will cleanse you na dhambi yote from all sin kwa hivyo therefore Tumefunga macho hivyo. As we have closed our eyes. Tukua uzito kwa neno hili ndugu yangu. You take this word very seriously. Mwambie Bwana Yesu asubuhi ya leo. Until the Lord Jesus this morning. Ni mimi mimi roho ya kujali. Ni mimi the spirit that cares. Unaona leo kaidi moyoni mwangu. I move every obstinacy in my heart. Uliza to go on. Kwenda mbio. Going very fast. Na na nyuma yangu. And behind me. Kuna mabaya. There's so many evil things. Unaambia roho ya kujali. Create in me the respecting spirit. The respecting spirit. Utafuta wewe. To seek you. Unaambia roho hiyo. Create in me that spirit. So I may get into sacrifice which you call me for. Let's pray then my dear brethren. Mungu wa mama Oh, yeah.
Sante Mungu wewe. Thank you God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hakuna aliye bora duniani hapa. There's nobody so much better on this earth. Ndio anasema bila shaka. The Bible says doubtlessly. Si kwamba mimi napewa kuwashuhudia maana ni bora. So that I'm given to test if you fight you because Hallelujah. I'm so good enough. Hallelujah. Wanasema kwamba mzee Zia anapopewa kushuhudia kwamba ni bora. So when mzee Zia test fight you is not that much better. Hata wewe ni bora. You are also much better. Hata yule dada ni bora. Yule dada sister is much better. Amen. Amen. Ana ni ni roho ndiye anafanya kazi. So the spirit that is working. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na roho inatumia mtu yeyote yule. And the spirit can use anybody else for soever. Hakuna cha kujivunia. There's nothing to be boasting about. Benjamin hatufungei baada kwa mama. Bwana nakushukuru nikiamini Kristo kwenda kutenda hivyo bwana nyumba ya mtumishi wako nyumba ya mwanzilishi wako bwana ifunike bwana na utukufu wako daima nakushukuru bwana na kanisa lako pia bwana ukalifunike bwana na utukufu wako bwana nashukuru naamini Kristo uliyetuanzisha kwa amani utatimiza kwa amani kila mmoja wetu bwana mjalie utafakari uzuri wa neno hili mchana wa leo bwana nashukuru naamini bwana ibada hii tumeifungua mikononi mwako bwana na mchana wa leo bwana tunairegesha mikononi mwako bwana nashukuru asante kujibu asante kutenda ni katika jina la Yesu Mokozi wetu. Asante baba. Ah. Naomba mkono wa salamu kutoka kwa mama yetu. Karibu mama yetu. Ninawasalimu kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Mungu awabariki. Amen. 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 Amen.